you're too young. You're too young. But back in the days when we used horse-drawn, mule-drawn wagons, we used two motivators, carrots and sticks. The carrots you dangled in front of the mule, and he would constantly pull forward because he wanted to eat the carrot. The stick was when he wouldn't even follow the carrot, you'd whack him upside the head with the stick. Well, that's become a cliche now or a, an axiom, you know, carrots are rewards, sticks are, I'll call it punishment, discipline, correction, whatever you want to call it. You need both. But you need seven of these for every one of these. Every pro trainer I've ever talked to will tell you the same thing. Lots more rewards than corrections. So what that means is you've got to train your dog with lots of control. You've got to set up all the situations so that he's succeeding most of the time and failing very little. And when he fails, you need to correct him in the right way. Sometimes it's not a stick. Sometimes it's an electric collar. Sometimes it's a check cord. Sometimes it's a hard cord. Uh, sometimes it's a backhand upside the head or something like that. They all work, but they have to be done carefully and at the right time. Same for these. Um, other sticks? Anybody use anything else in the way of sticks, corrections, discipline? Some of us use an electric collar that has a tone on it. You can use that. It cuts both ways. I use mine for another purpose, but a lot of people use that tone on their collar to say, stop. Um, enough sticks. Carrots. How do we praise our dogs? How do we reward our dogs for, for being good dogs? Carrots work pretty good, actually. Anybody else use food treats? Yeah. yeah. Um, I use the little store-bought things. They're already cut up into little bits like this. Hot dog bits work really well. They smell a lot. Dogs are really attracted. The other nice thing about hot dogs are these little things they call zook treats that I, I use, is they're soft. They go down in one inhalation, and <laughs> the dog's ready to pay attention again. Instead of like a, a biscuit or something that they have to chew and crunch, and it takes a little while. They forget why they're getting a reward. So uh, um, food works. And what else do we use? Verbal praise, yeah. Good dog, you're the best. Good boy. Verbal praise works a lot. Um, yeah. Tennis ball. Oh. Retrievers, happy bumpers. Yeah. What do you, whatever you call them. Retrievers live to retreat. So, what's the reward for them? More retreat. Um, on a hot day, we hunt a lot in the desert. What works better than food? Water. Anything that will show your dog that you appreciate the hard work they're doing. Another thing that we like is this. What are these animals? They are bird dogs. What do they live to do? Hold this in their mouth. <laughs> this is as close, well, this is the most fun they can have without another girl dog. They live 